Hello viewers, welcome to my channel Kim Felix. You have seen till video number 58, I taught different topics of chemistry in an unconventional way. I used to take some topics and I used to frame some riddles, interesting riddles on that topic and I used to explain those topics while solving the riddles. So from video number 59, I want to bring some changes. So from this video number 59, a series of videos will come on chemical thermodynamics, which is my favorite topics. So with the short introduction, let's start the start video on chemical thermodynamics. Now, thermodynamics consisting of two words, thermo and dynamics. From the name itself, the topics which is or the matter which is dealt in thermodynamics can be understood. How? Thermo. Thermo means heat. Dynamics. Dynamics means motion. And what does it mean with the combination? That is motion of heat or the flow of heat. So, the field of thermodynamics is only this flow of heat from hot body to cold body, from any body to another body? No. Thermodynamics field is very, very wide. Now, in the old age, primitive age, when the civilization was not there, all of us know how the fire was discovered. The people, they just rubbed two stones and suddenly they got the fire. And the thermodynamics started or thermodynamics shows its appearance from that time. What happened there? When they are rubbing the two stones, then mechanical work is performed or mechanical energy is converted to heat energy. So, can we say that thermodynamics deals with the conversion of mechanical work to heat or mechanical energy to heat and vice versa? That means heat to mechanical work. Actually, this scientist who just uh, means the thermodynamics name was coined uh, by those mechanical engineers who are interested to study the conversion of heat into mechanical work. And from that, the name was given thermodynamics. But field of thermodynamics is very, very vast. All forms of energy, say chemical energy stored in the body, radiation energy stored in the radiation, then your electrical energy that is flow of electrons, potential energy due to the position of the body, kinetic energy due to the motion of the body, all forms of energy can be converted to heat energy and thermodynamics gives the quantitative relation between the any form of energy with heat energy. That means thermodynamics deals with the conversion of any form of energy to heat energy and vice versa. So thermo part is correct, that is heat energy. Heat energy is constant, but dynamics does not mean only the flow of heat. It means the conversion of any form of energy to heat energy or the quantitative relation between any form of energy to heat energy. Now, this thermodynamics is based on 
three generalization or three laws. First law, second law and third law. There is no formal proof of this law. But all these laws have come from the human experience what, or human observation, what you are observing every day. So, there is no contradiction so far about these laws and no contradiction is expected in future also because these are real, these are truth, these are the natural phenomena, these are the people observation that cannot go wrong. Say for example, see what you are observing here that this water is flowing from the mountain and it is coming from high altitude to low altitude. Hmm? High level to lower level. Very common. Always water flows from high level to low level. You cannot see that water is flowing from low level to high level. In that case, you have to apply the external aid that is pump. So, spontaneous processes, water flows from high level to low level. And this is one statement of second law of thermodynamics. Let's see another example. Okay, what is there? In a cup, hot is there. Hmm? Hot is, say its temperature is high, surrounding temperature is low. Say heat is flowing from this hot tea to the surroundings. Now see here, this is ice cream. Its temperature is low compared to the surroundings. Now you see heat is flowing from the surroundings to this system. That is here it is ice cream. So heat always flows from hot region to cold region. Hot body to Old body. There is no contradiction about that. This is also one statement of second law of thermodynamics. So, all these three laws of thermodynamics are universally true. There is no contradiction. So, coming to the importance of thermodynamics. Any physical chemistry laws, say for example, this, if you see this colligative property, Relative lowering of vapor pressure, that is Raoult's law, related, Raoult's law, which is related to relative lowering of vapor pressure. Then Van Topp's laws for the dilute solution. Then uh, equation for your depression of freezing point, elevation of boiling point. Then uh, these laws for this distribution laws, phase rule. All these things are deduced with the help of thermodynamics. And then coming to the most important part, thermodynamics help us in predicting the feasibility of a particular process or particular reaction under a certain condition, whether this reaction will occur spontaneously or not, that information you can get it from thermodynamics. Or under a certain situation, any process will occur spontaneously or not. That will be told us by thermodynamics. When you go in details, you will come to know there is one parameter in thermodynamics known as free energy. If the free energy change of the process or reaction or anything is negative, that means that is spontaneous. So, Thermodynamics help us in predicting the feasibility of the process, whether this process will occur without an external aid or not, that is spontaneously. And another thing is that the thermodynamics for a particular reaction, the thermodynamics tells us to what extent the reaction occurs before attainment of the equilibrium. That means it will give you some idea about the yield, yield of the product. Now, then this is another important application that is concept of thermodynamics are applying in studying the phenomena involving light, heat, electric and magnetic field. Now coming to the most important one, 
from thermodynamics we can get an idea about the efficiency of a, of an of a heat engine heat engine or machine what is heat engine which con which convert heat energy to mechanical work that means say you are taking the fuel and from the fuel through a machine here we call it as heat engine through a machine you are obtaining the what you are obtaining mechanical work so how much what fraction of this heat can be converted to mechanical work that idea you will get it from thermodynamics you should know one thing no heat engine can convert the 100% heat or your fuel to the mechanical work because only a part you convert it to, to mechanical work a certain part goes to increase another parameter known as the entropy slowly we'll come to all these things so say efficiency you have calculated hmm? we'll study in carnot cycle actually in carnot cycle very simply i'm telling you heat engine it is one mole of an ideal gas it takes some heat energy from the high temperature source then a part of it it converts to the mechanical work and remaining part it releases at the low temperature sink so if it absorbs say here q2 amount of q1 amount of heat then how much and q2 it is released in the sink then how much heat it has converted to mechanical work q1 minus q2 and fraction of the total heat fraction is q1 minus q2 by q1 fraction of the total heat converted to mechanical work that is known as the efficiency so using thermodynamics you can calculate the efficiency of the machine or efficiency of the heat engine suppose efficiency calculated efficiency or theoretical efficiency is say 90% okay now you have designed one machine and you are finding that efficiency of the machine is 70% that means still you can improve it you improve the design so that your target 90% you cannot go beyond 90% but you can improve improve the design and come close to this 90% so less amount of fuel more and more mileage okay so it is the most important part most importance for the mechanical engineers to know or to get the idea about the efficiency of a heat engine or machine now thermodynamics is not 100% perfect thermodynamics in the sense i am talking about chemical thermodynamics that is not 100% perfect also here also limitations is there what limitation thermodynamics always concerned with the matter in bulk one mole of an ideal gas say 6.02310 to the power 23 number of molecules so a large number of molecules so the system consisting of large number of molecules or atoms or particles thermodynamics deals with the macroscopic system where large number of particles is involved it will not chemical thermodynamics it will not give you the idea about the internal structure of atom and properties of the electron energy of that and that uh, like that internal structure of molecule no of course statistical thermodynamics so we get this idea but we will limit our discussion on chemical thermodynamics in chemical thermodynamics we will not get any idea about the micro particle or it does not deal with the microscopic level okay this energy of an electron energy of proton no it will tell in bulk this number of large particle is there so what is the energy of it that it will tell now 
most important one that thermodynamics solidity we have seen that it tells about the feasibility of a process that means under a certain condition this process or this reaction will occur spontaneously or not but it does not tell anything about the rate of the process or reaction according to thermodynamics all of us know two moles of hydrogen one mole of oxygen gives water okay according to thermodynamics under normal condition if you mix two moles of hydrogen one mole of oxygen you should get two moles of water because delta g is negative do it mix up two moles of hydrogen one mole of oxygen keep it for one month not even drop of water will form so thermodynamics does not tell anything about the rate of the process so it is said that for to know the rate we have to depend on chemical kinetics okay now another drawbacks thermodynamics deals with the initial state and also with the final state initial state the system has this much of energy say it has uh, 50 calorie of energy and in the final state its energy is increased say 70 calorie of in energy okay thermodynamics will tell you what is the energy change what is the energy change that is 70 minus 50 20 calorie okay but it will never give you any idea how what is the path followed whether directly this 20 degree centigrade temperature is increased or first it is cooled down to say 30 degree and from 30 degree it has gone to 70 degree no nothing it will tell this this much of energy is their initial state this much the final state actually in fact it will tell suppose if you know that this much of energy is there in the initial state how much energy change that it will say for example if you consider any reaction okay it will no it will give you the how much energy whether it is exothermic or endothermic means energy is released or energy is gained okay whatever it is that means about the energy change it will tell you Okay, but it will never tell you whether it is addition reaction, elimination reaction, whether it follows free radical mechanism, or it follows that um, it goes to the formation of carbocation or carbonyl. No, no information regarding the path. Only initial state and final state. So this is another drawbacks of thermodynamics. And as i already told you the chemical thermodynamics deals with the energy change but it does not give the absolute value okay say system is in a particular state that in the sense it is in a particular condition this much of temperature pressure volume like that if it goes to the other state all these things i'll discuss where that temperature pressure volume everything is different okay then how much energy change internal energy change or total energy change, that is given by thermodynamics but it doesn't uh, concern very much concern with the absolute value okay. so these are the some limitations of thermodynamics so you have to make your mindset you have to prepare your mind that from when you are going to study thermodynamics solidity i told you series of videos will come to explain the basics of chemical thermodynamics then what all knowledge you, will, you are going to get hmm? on what direction you will get the knowledge and what will be the lacking lacking part everything will come to know hope my discussion is fruitful thank you